Shalom, give all praise to Yahweh by Shemam Shai by Shemma Kakodash. Shalom to the hopeful elect out there. I'm going to entitle this video. It's not going to be long, shouldn't be long. There's a spirit jump on me. I'm going to entitle this video The Most Important Prophecy. to speak on the most important prophecy to talk about, to have a dialogue, dialogue on this particular topic or prophecy. We know that uh, the prophecy that we're looking forward to is the destruction, deliverance, and the kingdom. And what comes with the kingdom is the other nations will be under us, especially Esau. He's going to be under our necks. You know, we're going to have our foot, boot, and his, our boots in his necks. Plural. That's uh, Baruch uh, chapter 4, verse 25, I believe. And I may go to that. He that leaves in the captivity shall go to captivity um, and they shall take them captives whose captives they were. There's so, there's so many precepts that come to mind. Eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth, life for life, uh, fire, um, burning for burning, death for death. Payback. Deuteronomy 20, uh, Deuteronomy 30, verse 7. All the curses that happened to us that are still happening and happening to us, but the most high is pulling it back. We're not in hardcore slavery, working out in the field. We're coming up. And as we're coming up, Esau is going down. Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So, you know. When we do these uh, videos, going to these different subjects, it's always centered around those prophecies because we're living in that time. But before the de deliverance slash destruction comes and, and the kingdom comes, this major prophecy has to come to pass and every Israelite should be talking about it. And that's the uh, MOTB. That's the MOTB, the mark of the beast which is the microchip which, in which this, this leadership of this system, which is Esau is the head. He's going to make all them. It show you, he, he, look, Esau's going to show you that he's the head by chipping every goddamn body. Oh, the Chinese. No, the, the Chinese work with Esau, man. That'll probably be the ultimate model in China that they're going to take, because they're heathens any damn way. No, they don't know the scriptures. They're not going to pull out a scripture. Well, wait a minute. They, they're heathens. They don't believe in the Most High. The Hawabash and Hawashai, they don't believe in that. They're not concerned. They're not talking about Israel. They're not concerned about that. They're just heathens. But the most important prophecy to speak on, talk about, have a dialogue on that uh, subject is the MOTB. UFOs, the uh, Omni, the Peruvians call UFOs Omni, the UAPs, the uh, unidentified um, aerial phenomenon come out, that came out of England. Now Esau in America uses that uh, acronym instead of UFOs because this is the daughter of uh, uh, the U.S. the U.S. or America came out of uh, Great Britain. That's in Revelation chapter seven. But the whole world is gonna. That's gonna be the major thing. That's gonna be the wake up call. And it's gonna shake up. There's gonna shake up a lot of you that are Israelites, but like the, the great doctrine. The great doctrine is just. 
or the grape su subject, that's not even really important because you're not going to do that now. That happened back then. And do we condone it? No, we don't condone it because it, when you do that act, you, you're disrespecting the father of that daughter. Not You're not violating the daughter. You are physically, but you're violating the father because you're not honoring his wishes. That's what he wants to do with his daughter. So we don't condone it, but there's, it's just like any other penalty. There's certain laws that you break that you don't get put to death on. You know, you, you know, you, you, uh, you commit a certain sin, you give a sin offering, you know, bullock, a goat, a lamb, turtle dove, and that atones for your sin. So when Yahweh Shai came on the scene, he was that bullock, lamb, goat, turtle dove that, that sacrificed himself, shed blood uh, for us, starting with the elect of Israel. So certain laws that you break, there were certain laws that were, you know, that were punishable by death. There were other laws that were punishable by uh, a penalty. And we didn't have jails back there. We didn't have prisons that they sentenced you to 10 years. That, that, that didn't happen. Remember years ago, there was, uh, give me a second. I remember years ago, there was me, myself, High Priest Shia, and High, High Priest Arya and High Priest Shia. And we were in front of the school. I think I was in my car. And it's in the, uh, topic of uh, prisons came up and they, and um, I believe Ariya said uh, well prisons was in the Bible we locked people up we sentenced them sentenced them to 10, 10 years and I said no 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 and uh, high priest Shia said no they, they, they did have prisons they did not have prisons they did not have prisons back then they didn't they, you didn't have no judge talking about okay you're going to do 10 years and with good good behavior you'll be out in five the only, the only thing, the, what, what happened was it was either civil or like uh, moral, meaning if you committed adultery, you got put to death. If you stole a bullock from uh, your neighbor, you replaced it by four, whatever the case may be. So you wouldn't want to do, you, you better think twice if you're stealing that bullock because they caught you. Now you got to give the bullock back plus was it three or four more, four bullocks, or, or whatever the case may be, you go into the law. You're going to start having more uh, law classes. You know, unlike the IUIC, they'll say keep the law, but nobody knows the law. Somebody rolled up and telling you do the right thing. What, what, what the hell does that mean? What's that all about? So there's certain laws unto death, and there's certain laws that you got to pay. So, but like I said, I'll say it again. We don't condone grape because you wouldn't want your daughters to get grape in Israel. But if they did, the penalty was not you got put to death. That's why these clowns keep going. Well, look, uh, that was why listening partially because I'm all over the place doing videos. I can't even watch full videos. Uh, Maha Maha Maharaka, uh, he he he's. <laughs> He's the defender of that doctrine. So, but it, but like at first he didn't see it, and then he saw it, and he's he's a defender of it. But it's not like I'm gonna go to a a, a man's house and I look at daughter. I said, "Oh, that's your daughter. I'm gonna rape her." No, he didn't say that. He didn't say that. If you want to get technical, uh, statutory rape and rape by force. Is the same. It's pretty much the same thing. That's why you in this system you go to you get locked up for statutory rape, meaning the woman wanted to give it to you. There was penalties for that because you didn't go to the father, and then it was just straight up rape where you forced the woman if she was married. See these these clowns keep going. Well, what about Deuteronomy twenty two and twenty five? That's a different. Um, that's a different priest. A different uh, verse. 
We're talking about Deuteronomy 22, verse 28. Two different verses. Why would the Lord say in Deuteronomy 20, 22, verse 25, one thing and say it all over again in the 28th verse? Does that make any sense? It's too, see, you get put to death. Yes. Read the whole scripture. Even I'm surprised that you, divine prospect, what the fuck is wrong with you? See, all these, you, you're going to find out, man, who the, who the true prophets, the men of the Lord are. We don't even got to speak on that no more. We, we beyond that. We beyond that. The great thing, if you don't get it, you ain't meant to get it. There was a penalty involved, and it wasn't death. Unless the woman was engaged or uh, married, then there was death. If you want to get technical, that's why I mentioned statutory as well as brutal rape by force. Joseph raped Mary. How about that? How, how, how did that happen? Joseph raped Mary because she didn't say she sought to hide herself secret, secretly, right? Privately, Joseph did because he enticed her to, to do it before the ceremony. And what messed him up was he probably was doing it a couple of times. And, and the one time he, he didn't, you know, he, he realized the stomach started getting big. Like I said, they don't give you the scriptures on it, but in the ancient world, I'm going to get back to my main subject on it. In the ancient world, when you had somebody come to your house, when you say let somebody come to your house, that would be the guest house, which the super rich got guest houses. They'll have, they'll have a big mansion and then they'll have a, a good sized house for the guests to stay in. But you couldn't, you couldn't, there was no back door for you to go into the main house. You had to come out the front door of the guest house and go to the front of the main house in order to get in. So when they said somebody come into your house, that means you had a house, not a fucking apartment, a one bedroom apartment. And you letting a brother, I'm gonna let the brother stay cause he, he, he ain't got no place to stay. I'm going to let he could sleep on the couch. I'm going to be in there with my wife and my children. And then you go to work and then you, you realize this dude is popping your woman. You dumb mother, you fucking dummy. You fucking dumbass. Like I said, back in the ancient world, do the research. They, they had big houses, big, gigantic, good, big size houses. And then they had a guest house. There was a separate house that was not, there was no way to get go into the guest house and go into the big house. So now Mary could have been staying in the guest house and Joseph would stop in there once in a while, give her food or whatever the case may be. And um, he got that feeling. Now, whether she was with it or not, but she was, I would say she was naive. She had to be about maybe 12, 13 years old, maybe 14. Certain scholars say she was 13, 14 years old. She was a virgin too. But anyway, that's a whole nother subject. But that's not, that's really not that, of, of, that subject is not all that important at this time. Because it's been, it's been going, ever since Polite, Brother Polite rolled up on us and asked her the question, question back in 20, was that 2012, 20, 20, 2013, October of 2013. It was the fall of October. It was the fall of 20, 2013. So we're talking 10 years ago, almost 11 years ago. Um, he, brought, he pulled it, you know, presented us with that question. And um, as somebody's supposed to come, people in the building. So if they come, I'm gonna, I'm gonna you know, you don't hear me speak, so you understand why. So we broke it down. We broke it down thoroughly to uh, this individual, and he played on it. But look, but look, but look at it. This is so ironic that he's facing time for doing what he said that he condemned us for. He, remember, he said he got the blood. He gonna get this blood in the crypts on on these GMS guys because they're saying you can rape a little girl. But he's 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 caught up in it. He did it before. He did it before. This is not the first time. Okay, 
This is not the first time. He did it before. But anyway, the most important subject, subject in the scriptures or the most important prophecy is the MOTB. So the ISUPK, the IUIC, all these other camps, the Wi-Fi, all these other camps, you better sit down, you better fast and pray. You better fast and pray that the most high open up your eyes to this subject. Because if you don't, you're gonna you're gonna get a big shake up from your people because they're gonna because they're watching us, man. Anyway, you see this picture right here. I was watching this is this is the reason why I came with the video. Uh and then show they deliver you up to be afflicted. Uh atmosphere of fear put up by daily edification for you know who that is. And he kind of goes into it. I'm this far in. He kind of goes into it. Um, if you don't take the karagma, you expect something like this. Expect getting your head chopped off. We got it right. We the U the so-called UFO scriptural thing. We've been saying it since the early to mid '80s up until now. Esau is just now saying it. Esau eventually gets it down the down down the line. You other Israelite groups, you don't get things because you because you're slow. You you didn't drove to school on that short yellow bus. You are gonna get it when they have when they set when they set them uh you know stations up there. You are gonna get it anyway. With that, I'm gonna say shalom. Like I said, I was gonna make this short.